Hello, it's me, and today I'll be doing a review on the Funko Pop Godzilla 2021 and Mecha Godzilla 2021. You can get these at Smith's Toys for this one's 9.99, this one's 12 quid, which I think is quite worth it. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the glow in the dark version of this guy, and I couldn't get the beam version of this guy, but. I could, if I wanted, make a beam for this guy, which I might do, don't really know. But, on with the review. So, I'll start with Godzilla, I'll save Mecha Godzilla for last. So, with the box, it's just the classic Funko Pop. So it's got an image of Godzilla there, it's a drawing. Heat Ray Godzilla, vinyl figure, and then some stuff in... I don't know, I'm not good with other languages. Heat Ray Godzilla on the side, the other ones you can get. Not a big fan of that one, he looks a bit like... He looks quite disturbing because he's got the big long bits of flesh there. But I don't really think I'm going to be getting the Kong. Because, I mean, I do just... I like just having Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla. Just uh, more of the plain plastics, you can see him inside, on the top, just Funko Pop with him peering over the top, and some legal stuff on the bottom. So, this is actually really good, except there are a few bits which I'm not very, which I'm not a big fan of, but I mean for 10 quid it's pretty blooming good as like, a, a shelf piece. So, the bits that I'm not really a big fan of are, you can see there's some massive gaps all over him. You can see all the seam lines. There's quite a few colour differences. You can see that's more of a green, and that goes to a grey-purple. This bit's got a bit too... that's a bit too heavy there. The chest is done quite nicely. The paint's on, that's good. Dorsal plates are a bit sloppy. You can see... That one's not even properly on the tail, which is quite unfortunate. The eyes and teeth are perfect, which is nice. But the paints, it's nice. It's Godzilla. I mean, there's nothing else you'd really want for a heat ray Godzilla. But it's got some really nice details on the top. The sort of like, it looks a bit like a stone pavement. It's got a very plain... The way they make it look more detailed is if this was just plain white, this would just be completely flat. But the way they've put the paint on has made it look like it's got more detail than it actually has. But it's got his nice scaly skin. Got some... I was thinking that these dorsal plates were actually accurate to the film. But they aren't. They're just just done randomly. I think maybe they are, I don't really know, but they're still quite nice anyway. The pose for him, it's, I mean, it work, It does really work quite well for having the beam there and stuff. It's got some splayed hands, got the indent in the bottom with the legendary and some other stuff. There's another bit of, like, strange colour colours. So it's the greeny stuff there, and there goes to a weird grey-purple. The beam, it's very, very simple. It's just a clear blue with a sort of bubble inside there. You can see the bit on the bottom. But you're not going to have it like that. So you're going to have him just standing there with his beam, which I really like the pose the as with the beam it has like the proper fiery look with the explosion at the bottom there and he's also got some more of the really strange sort of it looks a bit like it looks like it's sort of leaked and then it's got these bits are quite weird they're intentional but it's got like he's this massive sort of cut ish thing on the back of his leg on like its ankle which looks really strange not ankle, is sort of Achilles heel. 
He's got the same there, which looks a bit strange. But for this guy, I definitely recommend getting him. He's really cool. The other ones look nice, but this one has the beam, so it's basically just more stuff for the same amount of money. So I definitely recommend getting this guy over the other ones. The big ones, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of. I like the just this medium size. But now on to the one that everyone wants, Mecha Godzilla. So again, I'll start with the box, exactly the same as the other one. The bit where you can see inside, Mecha Godzilla there, Mecha Godzilla on the side. The other ones you can get, him peering over the top and the plane. So you can see him inside and some more little stuff on the bottom. But I was really, really looking forward to this guy arriving. Because I have bought the Playmates. It's been delayed. It's going to be arriving in a couple of days. It's arriving on the 25th. So there'll be a review out sometime around then. But I really like the design for the Mechagodzilla 2021. He was okay in the film. I was very disappointed by the way they killed him. I mean, it was cool, but just... Like, he didn't live up to any of the other Mecha Godzillas, not even the 1974 one. It's just, they introduced the most powerful monster ever and just killed him with a bit of alcohol. Which I was quite disappointed about. But the paint for this guy is very simple. It's just a silver, which does appear, you can't really see it on camera, but it does have a purple-ish tint to it. I don't think you can really see it, but it does have a very, very slight purple tint, which is quite strange. And then the only other bit of paint are some little red lines on his dorsal plates and a bit of red for the eyes, which they didn't actually do in the normal Funko Pop style, but I'm actually quite glad that they did it like that because... He doesn't really, he does have the bit of silver, then the red, instead of just having him pure red, which would have looked a bit strange. But the detail on this guy, for 12 quid, quid is absolutely just incredible. You can see all the little pistons and cogs and wheels in him, it's incredible. There's a very strange thing, which the tail, if you can see there... It sort of overlaps. It doesn't, like, move how it would in the film. It's sort of stuck together. You can see that one's gone inside of there, and those two have merged together, which is very, very strange. Same with his arms there. On sort of his, sort of his elbow, it's sort of gone. You can see it's gone inside, which is quite strange. But it's got his fork on the end of his tail. It's got all his little... I don't really know what these are, just sort of lumps on underneath his tail. It's got his little fuel bits all over his arms. I really like they have the rocket launchers there, which is really, really nice. The head... See, one of the things that I really like about the 2021 Mechagodzilla is they made him really disturbing with the tiny red eyes and the teeth welded onto the outside makes him look really quite terrifying, which I really, really like. He's also got a bit of a rib cagey thing there, a bit like a xenomorph as well. But he's also got some very small details there with all the pistons and wheels as well. Nothing on his feet. They look a bit like gecko feet, if I'm honest. But his hands, these are actually a softer plastic, so these can bend. But be careful. And you can also, if you want, you can have him holding something. Like with the Playmates Kong, you can actually have him holding his axe, which is quite funny. But... There's no movement on either of these because they're Funko Pops. They just uh, like have on your shelf like that. Just nothing else. I mean, I do wish they put them like in a different pose so you could have them like fighting or something. So like you could have him sort of punching him or like grabbing his arm or something. 
which I mean it's not that bad, but it just would have been nice to have. But I definitely, if you don't really want to get this guy, just you have to get him. He's absolutely incredible. But it is nice to have the two together on the shelf. I think it looks really, really cool. But this is quite a short review just because they don't have any articulation or anything. And basically, you don't need anything else to size up with because all Funko Pops are the same exact height. But, yes, that about does it for the review. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.